in Act 3, Scene 1 of Dr. Faustus. Dr. Faustus recounts his recent travels with Mephistopheles. Then, he asks if Mephistopheles has brought him to Rome, as commanded. The devil assures Faustus that this is so, and they are now in the Pope's private chamber. But Mephistopheles recommends he stay until he sees the Pope, promising they'll have some fun. Faustus agrees and asks the devil to make him invisible. The Pope enters, accompanied by the Cardinal of Lorraine and attendant friars, to an awaiting banquet. To the embarrassment of the Pope and confusion to all, their conversation is interrupted by snide comments from a disembodied voice. Dishes of food and cups are snatched up by invisible hands. The Cardinal suggests it's the actions of a soul escaped from purgatory, and the Pope agrees. Faustus has been on a learning spree, albeit a destructive one, in his ambitious quest to gather the knowledge of the universe. It has been an exhilarating experience. Though he's asked for Mephistopheles to bring him to see the Pope, the devil's descriptions of Rome make Faustus eager to explore. However, the devil turns the doctor's thoughts from this intellectual pursuit by tempting him with the chance for some wicked fun, specifically the childish torment of the Pope. Dr. Faustus's streak of pettiness and love for sensual pleasures overshadows his hunger for knowledge and wisdom. Faustus uses the marvels of magical powers to pull mean-spirited pranks, showing the corrupting influence of unbridled power and how it's affecting him. 